down. Chuck, he's a person. I really started training my body at a young age, especially when I did kick ass. It kind of opened me up to the world of, you know, movement. And one thing that I found really empowering was, you know, fight training and boxing and kickboxing. And it allowed me to find not just, you know, strength and rhythm, but also allowed me to find kind of a gravity within myself. No matter how crazy my world gets or my day gets or, you know, my hour gets, it's a an amount of time that I can kind of take to myself and feel what it feels like to, to connect with my body and my soul and get in my center. I think at a young age, I kind of realized exactly what I wanted to stand for and who I wanted to stand for. And not just speak for myself, but to you know use my platform as a, a microphone and a spotlight for those that might not have the ability or the opportunity to have that. When I turned 18, I, I realized a lot about myself that I hadn't worked through. And I jumped into therapy twice a week and I stopped acting for a year and I got back into working out. I stopped training for like two years before that. And I think I really lost my, my balance, you know, my footing. When I came out the other side of that, at, you know, about 20 years old, I felt that I not only was able to speak my truth, but I was able to stand up for what I really believe in on a daily basis. Over the last year, I've gone through a lot. Being a mother android was something that I needed that outlet. I, I craved to be back on set. I craved to be back in to a character's shoes. Our director and writer, Madsen Tomlin, wrote this about his family, you know, and, he, and um, his parents who went through the Romanian revolution in the 80s and he was given up for adoption. This baby belly that I wore was 21 pounds. I had never experienced that before. And then, you know, doing these scenes and I would just look over at, at Matt and, you know, and see him there. And, you know, he's a standing representation of this whole thing. And it was one of the most incredible experiences of my career. Like, it changed me as a person in a lot of ways. So we are about to go into Brother's Sushi with my friend Mark, who is the head chef and owner of this place. And um, yeah, eat the best sushi in Los Angeles, in my opinion, which is a pretty, it's a pretty high bar. So <laughs> let's do it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is Mark. Hello, hello. Oh, hi. Should I come around? Sure, please. I think one of the first places I went when I was 12 or maybe 13 years old for um, kick-ass press was to Japan, to Tokyo. And I had such a fun time eating so much sushi and being a part of that and learning more about it and the traditions behind it. When I came back to LA, I always loved to find little sushi holes and places that are 